Hey, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's lovely to spend some time with you. I'm going to do a very relaxing painting, um, just kind of doodle painting. This is my mixed palette of various paints. You can kind of see when you look at it that I like turquoise. I'm doing a class being led by Femme Visionary on Skillshare with negative painting, and she suggests that we practice it before we do the actual project. So I thought I'd just do some doodle flowers and practice my negative painting and have a little bit of a chat with you guys and put some music on for you to listen while I do this. I've been watching so many YouTube videos and it seems forever since I've caught up with all of you and I feel like I'm in a little bit of a change of what I'm doing at the moment. My focus is moving a little bit away from colouring and more towards watercolour and this leaves me feeling in a minor quandary about the YouTube channel as to whether I should start a different YouTube channel just with the watercolors. Everybody says you must niche down and you must do this and you must do that. But I don't have the magic thousand subscribers yet. So I've been working quite hard at trying to get there. So I'm going to keep this as a mixed channel so long and hope that you don't mind. And for some of you that don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you may not know that I've recently opened an Etsy shop where I'm selling digital printable things as well. And I've been spending quite a lot of time doing that and really, really enjoying making them. I'm doing, I've only so far got one planner page art. I've got some printable wall art that I've done, some of it using some of my watercolors and which I've learned how to digitize and put up and some of them using bought watercolor from other people where I've bought a commercial license to use it. So um, if you feel like it, I'll put a link under this video, have a pop along to the shop and see what you like. I'm concentrating at the moment on things like printable note paper, printable wall art and um, printable scrapbook paper, which you can print and you can use as wrapping paper or making gift bags out of it or whatever. And then I'm also going into a little bit of printable planner pages, which you can also actually use on iPads. So here I'm just using some red paint, random red paint that to tell you the honest truth, I actually cannot remember what it is. Um, it was on the saucer and I didn't feel like throwing it away because it's quite vibrant. So I'd squeezed out a bit from some tube for something I was doing. I've just finished following, well, I haven't finished it, two more days to go. A different class on Skillshare read by Aurora Biz, Aurora Bies, I'm not quite sure how she pronounces herself, um, of 30 bold and beautiful watercolour skies. And um, so I've been using a lot of paint and I think this was for that. But I, it's still, as you can see, very pigmented and it seems a pity to waste it. So I'm doing that. I have been watching lots and lots of different YouTube videos on things like doing digital work and how to get your Etsy shop up and all that kind of thing and some on colouring and some on watercolour. My very favourite watercolour person to follow is Emma Lefebvre. I absolutely love her. If you haven't watched any of her stuff also let me know in the comments and I'll put a link to her channel. She does such lovely stuff. And I'm a little bit out of it with the colouring. I did finish my Daydreams book and I've started a big picture in Romantic Country and I keep thinking maybe I should do a colour and chat and just go live and chat away and colour and then 
I haven't done it because I'm so scared of going live and nobody joins me. But I suppose if you don't try, it doesn't help. I found the last few times I did it ages ago, I actually enjoyed it. And then I lost my nerve somehow or other. I think this whole lockdown thing and struggling a little bit with depression and all of that has kind of been difficult. So now I'm busy drawing another flower and messing it up rather chronically. So I'm going to have to erase it, methinks, and try again. Luckily, I've got this eraser that works quite well. So off we go. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a trub. Not a trub, a tub. <laughs> Today is Monday and it's... Uh, public holiday, as we call them in South Africa. It is Human Rights Day today, so we are not really doing anything specific because of lockdown, although we're in what's called level one at the moment. So one's allowed to go out much, but my husband and I, because we're in a bit of a danger category where this COVID-19 is concerned, are very careful and we haven't been to restaurants or anything. We have bought takeaways a few times. I'm trying to get this flower to fit in a bit better and I thought I would draw some more guidelines, but then still looked funny. So much erasing going on. So we went and did a little bit of shopping today and I don't know about you, but I always feel good when I've got a lot of food in my fridge. Um, I think Americans call it refrigerator, we in South Africa call it our fridge. So I'm feeling satisfied that there is plenty to feed us with. So now when I finally get this flower done to my satisfaction, which will be in a few more minutes time, I mix a little bit of Naples yellow in with that red and get kind of a mustardy color, which I wasn't sure if I liked or not. And then I decided to go with it. And at the end of the day, I did quite like it. I'm going to speed things up a little bit now because otherwise we may just be here until Christmas and I'll put some music on for you to enjoy. It's been so nice having a little chat and I would really, really, really love it if you could leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> a strange place to leave it. And um, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel and pressing that little notification button if you'd like to know when more videos are added.
So unfortunately, I didn't realize that my recorder had stopped recording, so you didn't get to see the painting of the yellow. That was just a lemon yellow that I used to paint the inside of the flowers. And now I'm using an Indian red to do little fine um, stamens and things. I think you call them stamens. I can't quite remember. Uh, but just inside the flower. And I think they look quite cute. The, I love the way the negative painting thing sort of works. I've done a different video on with the negative painting exercise before. And I'll link it up in the right hand corner if you would like to maybe watch that. And um, I think I'm going to try maybe my first project for the Fem Fem Visionary class. And I think I might record myself doing that as well because it looks like a very pretty thing to do. So I'm going to put a little bit more music on and I'm going to say enjoy watching. like how this turned out. I'm always amazed by how just a little bit of black ink can make something stand out. You will have seen me use my little colour wheel earlier on because I wasn't quite sure what colour to put into the flowers and I do find just hauling out a colour wheel every now and then helps. I was also in two minds about these doodles. I couldn't quite decide what to do and I'm not sure if it looks like there's mold or fly larvae in the middle or if it looks nice but I enjoyed doing it and I found it very restful anyway so that's the main issue. Um, I don't know if you also end up turning your books around when you work on them but I always do that and then I thought it didn't look finished and so I added dots. It is funny how dots, little splotches, my husband doesn't like them at all. He always thinks they spoil a picture, but I think they finish a picture off. 
So I've done little dots in all the different colors that are in this picture. I'm sorry that the picture seems to be going in and out of focus all the time. I'm not entirely sure why, but we're nearly at the end now. And if you're still watching, I really am very grateful. Thank you so much for joining me. And I really do wish you a lovely day.